Nice defence. You're watching OSN Crick. Welcome back to Harari Sports Club for the first of uh, four ODIs of the Syria Pump Cup 2019. And likewise, a bit of uh, team discussion amongst the United Emirates players as well. Langton Rosseri, Zimbabwe's premier umpire, alongside Russell Tiffin, you'd have to say, getting first dibs in this uh, series. You'd probably see Russell Tiffin doing a couple and Langton Rosseri doing a couple. Ah! Up goes the finger. Thought it might have been shaving leg stump. But Sean George had no doubt whatsoever about that. It uh, looked as if it was heading towards leg stump anyway, but uh, Sean George had the finger up in a flash, and Jarvis has the first wicket, and they've got the prize wicket of Ashwak Ahmed as well. Yeah, it was almost as emphatic as the appeal, Sean George. He's gone up straight away, no hesitation in raising the index finger. Well, I think uh, in the end, you'll find that that's a pretty good decision. He went uh, across his stumps, Hitting leg stump, I reckon. Ashfaq Ahmed gone for two. First blood to Zimbabwe. Two for one. Three fifties. Yeah! Oh, that's taken the edge, has it? Up goes the finger. Langton Raziri waited for the batsman to make the decision. Realised he wasn't going to. So the umpire made it for him. Just a faint edge. They were assured right from the get-go, the men in red. And he prodded forward again. This time, as Regis Chikapa pouched it, they were all up in the air asking the question. It took a bit of time for Langton Rosseri to respond, but in the end raised the index finger, and UAE fall further into the mire. Gulam Shabir gone for two, seven for two now. Chirag Suri is the new man to the crease, 24 years of age, just the nine matches. So still finding his way in international cricket. Average under 20, I'm sure that'll improve with the 150. Ah, good ball. But uh, it'll cost him some runs. Well, we haven't seen uh, some ball win bowlers, Kyle Jarvis and Tendai Chitara employing a short delivery. Umpire Langton Rosseri just uh, indicating to the batsman that that's the one short ball allowed in the over. Surprising the batsman, Tendai Chitara. Down the wicket. When you have no answers to the test and the examination of the fast bowlers, you revert to trying to create a shot, take a risk, hit the bowler off his line and his length. And he's in no man's land here. No position to lay any bat on that. And it's a good response by the fast bowler as well. It's that frustration, isn't it? Good reply. Typical fast bowler's reply, isn't it, Ed? A few have come in, enjoying some breakfast, some are watching on, some are probably doing a bit of work. And others have just come out uh, to uh, enjoy the cricket. It's uh, one of the, the good spots here at uh, Rory Sports Club. Just over to your right. Outside edge, Tendai Chantara, you have been probing and probing and now you get the reward. Oh, that's an absolute peach from Tendai Chatara. We're talking about using the crease, angling the ball into the right-hander and then moving away. Look at where he delivers that ball from. Into the right-hander and just straightening as it pitches. And a healthy outside edge and well taken by Regis Chakaba. So the third wicket falls for the UAE. He's gone for eight, Suri. And 19 for three now the total. Shewan Anwar. 37 matches, 
half decent average. He's, he's got a hundred, so uh, he has something to offer the UAE as they've just been not been able to get uh, on top of these uh, Zimbabwe bowlers. Down the ground. That's a good shot. It's a really good shot. And he's decided that uh, Donald Tirupano doesn't quite have the pace of Carl Jarvis, Tendai Chitara, not the movement. And he comes down the wicket, and that's a firm connection. Had no right to hit that. Oh, there's a man down at third man. It's going to just beat Solomon Mire. Run, run, run. Excellent piece of work, actually. I thought uh, for a moment he might have been lining up for the catch but uh, magnificent pistol fielding in the deep there from uh, Solomon Miria the man in your picture oh that's a very very fine delivery from Donald Tirupano uh, talking about the movement both off the pitch and in the air and that one may just have changed direction off the pitch and has then gone further and that's the end of Shaman Anwar the 40 year old the most experienced player in the UAE team with 36 one-day internationals, an average of just over 31, and he's the most experienced and uh, most successful batsman, and he's gone, and it's an absolute beauty from Tirupano. What a delivery that was. Shaman Anwar is going to go for 11. UAE now 38 for 4. 14.4 overs, 38 for 4 already. And that's uh, what I was talking about, Kyle Jarvis's excellent uh, start. A uh, couple of maidens there, five overs, two maidens, one for eight. Tendai Chitara with two for 15. Oh, hello. Turn and bounce. That may be of interest to Sean Williams. He's one of the fifth bowling options. How about this? He's given this a real rip. It's a bounce that, oh. Hello. Ah, that was unexpected. He's got another one to turn past the outside edge there. Tempting Rowan Mustafa into the drive. The opener has made nine of 36 balls. And uh, at the moment, he's uh, got the responsibility of playing the anchor role and trying to get the scoreboard moving. It's hard work, isn't it? It was an unplayable delivery, That's wasn't right. it, from Sikandar Raza? So much bounce and turn. Mustafa's got to hang in there. He's got to try and get a partnership going with uh, Usman. This time on the sweep. And straight to the man. End of the over. 16 gone, 38 for four. And uh, Mustafa, for me, is the man for the job. He's been there for 44 deliveries already. He's got to stay there. Yeah. Bold him. He's given that air. Sikandar Raz has tossed it up. And that's a beautiful piece of bowling. He knows. Raza knows that the batsman is frustrated. He knows that he's prone to... Uh, over attack if given the chance and look at the way he tosses this one up says go on then bowl that and he's just trying to over hit it he's thought finally finally something for me to hit and he's trying to hit the cover off it gone for 10 it's 40 for 5 Mohamed Bhutta Mohamed Bhutta is uh, the new batsman 36 year old right-hander he's only played the seven ODIs highest score of 59 not out this is his eighth beats the outside edge what a delivery you just spoke about how he gets a little bit of movement a little bit of swing And it's, it's not exaggerated, is it, Ed? You know, uh, so for example, in the past, you would see a John Rennie or even James Anderson who gets the ball to hoop and swing, but Donald Tiripano just does enough. I always like to refer to him as a street fighter. Well, it's a very small street fighter. No, 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 no. 
But he has a big heart. He, he uh, <laughs> was integral to that uh, tour of Sri Lanka that Zimbabwe won 3 2, the ODI series there. On very placid surfaces, he was uh, very good. And uh, when he's under a little bit of pressure, he does have a little bit of skill as well with taking pace off the ball, the off cutters. Yes, uh, he he does have the skill because uh, he actually has a very very good yorker towards the back end of the innings as well. Does Donald Tiripano? What I would like to see a bit more is, is him trying to express himself a bit more with the bat. He's, he's small but he's strong and he does actually hit the ball quite nicely. I just sometimes feel that he feels. In the air and gone. Trying to hit it on the up. PJ Moore at uh, mid off takes the catch. Yes, uh, just chipping this one up in the air, probably looking to try and clear PJ Moore. Whether there was maybe a slower delivery involved there, we'll soon see. But PJ Moore takes a pretty comfortable catch. Something had to give. And uh, that is the end of Muhammad Wuta out for one. It has to go. That scores 42 for six. Haida, 17 matches, a best of 18. That's uh, just angled down the leg side. That'll be some uh, runs for the UAE and it'll come off the pads or the legs. Huh? The umpire says there's a bit of bat on it and the 50 comes up for the UAE. Well, it's been heavy going for the UAE, hasn't it? They've never been allowed to get some form of momentum into the innings. In fact, that uh, may only be the second boundary, the second four of the UAE innings. They've hit 1-6. bouncer it's nice to slip that in from time to time isn't it so um, the crowds are just beginning to enjoy themselves because the weather is beginning to heat up Ed I'm, I'm just going specifically on sound now when you hear Carl Jarvis approach the wicket you can definitely hear that he spent his time bowling quite a few deliveries because there never ever used to be a grunt in his delivery stride What a struggle. 144 dot balls. Wow, we. We, uh, we, to be fair, we are looking at two teams who've uh, played in Zimbabwe's case, no cricket for six months. The UAE have had literally a couple of games. They had the warm up game. Alterarians, as uh, Tino's just mentioned a couple of days ago. And that, I reckon, is one of maybe six shots in anger. We had a couple of cover drives early on. Yeah, yeah that's an edge. Up goes the finger. Brandon Mavuta strikes. Just an uh, indeterminate shot from the batsman. Didn't know what he was doing, did he? In the end, just a, had a, a push at it. Maybe he was shocked that Brandon Mavuta pitched the ball. Good catch by Regis Chakaba. And the end of him, Renaida for 10. 71 for 7. Highest score of uh, 45. Predominantly, of course, he's uh, an off spinner. There we go. Mohammed Navid's decided it's time and he's gone straight and he's gone long. Good hit. That's a really good hit. I say that because there's a man back at long off. A man at mid on is up in the circle. Out. 
out. Top edge. Chatara gets another. Well, the captain's come out and he's tried to get on with it. This time, the pull shot is, is undoing. Top edge. Tatara gets another. And the UAE struggle continues. So, Mohamed Navid, he's gone for nine. In quick time, just six deliveries. 80 for eight now. Sultan Ahmed, uh, the new <coughs> batsman, one of uh, only a, a three players in the squad under the age of 30. He's 29. His uh, main job is to bowl slow left arm spin. Bats left handed. It's uh, his ODI debut. He, he has played 70 20 internationals for the UAE. Here we go. The demise of uh, Mohamed Navid. It was uh, a bit of a wild swing, to be honest. Reggie Jacob has had a happy day behind the stumps. That's his fifth catch. We'll uh, confirm this for you in just a second. Actually, Ed Rain's uh, coming on to commentary in a moment. He's uh, just doing some research here. We're just going to confirm what the record is for a Zimbabwean wicketkeeper. Number of dismissals in a one-day international. But we we all think, and I say we'll confirm it for you in just a second, we all think that this has actually equaled it. It's uh, five dismissals. I think there's a few keepers have done that. Tatenda Taibu. Andy Flower. Oh, and at this rate, uh, he might well go on <laughs> and pick up a six or seven. 37 overs gone, 80 for eight. Big shot. Where's this? It's in the deep. It's nearly cleaned up the security guard. He's got a good piece of that, hasn't he? Why not? Go, Rango. It, uh, for six. Head down. Have a look at that. Mavuta tosses one up and it's gone on one. He has gone for the big yep. hit and it's thrown the kitchen sink, is that? And it's gone for half a dozen. So, confirmation that uh, Regis Chakavo has equaled the record for the most dismissals in an innings in an ODI. That of uh, Andy Flower twice. And Brendan Taylor just on the one occasion now. Uh, Regis Chakavo has just entered a little bit of history for Zimbabwe. Attempts the Yorker, overcompensates, low full toss. The field is up and it's help yourself stuff. It goes for four. I called it earlier, Eddie. He's going to stand and deliver. That's what it's going to do. Chatara is going for the Yorker. He misses the Yorker by quite some distance. Low full toss, stands and delivers. And it's picked the gap in between mid wicket and mid on. And that will run away for a much needed boundary for the UAE. It's a big shot. There's a man back there. Solomon Mira is the man back there. Yes, but uh, it would just drop uh, just in front of him and he cleans it up for just a single. You can see what's uh, on the cards at the moment. Having a look at that uh, previous delivery again. He's gone right. on his knee and he's gone for the big one. And um, not quite getting the connection he was looking for on that occasion. Bowled him. Unable to move the feet. Unable to get to the pitch of the delivery. And he's yoked himself, has brought up. And Brandon Maputa. He creates the breakthrough that Zimbabwe have been searching for. And it's an important wicket for them because it's been frustrating. But he's kept the innings nicely together for, for the UAE, even though it's so difficult. They've limped along. He'll limp off. And there's the breakthrough. Thank 
one of those 10 minute changeovers. Mahmoud Bhutto will go for 36 off 76. It's 101 for nine. Kadir Ahmed. Nine matches, and he's not in the team for his batting. Bowled him. No doubt about that. Middle stump out of the ground. It's a wonderful way to end the innings for Zimbabwe and for Carl Jarvis. A good full length delivery. And you'll probably find that uh, a great deal of batsmen would have struggled to have kept that one out. Nicely bowled by Carl Jarvis to wrap up proceedings. So the UAE will, they kept Zimbabwe in the field for a bit longer than they would have wanted, but uh, they were not really able to uh, get a great deal of runs. So nicely bowled by Jarvis. So Sultan Ahmed bowled by Kyle Jarvis for seven from 24 deliveries. And uh, that leaves last man Kadir Ahmed unbeaten on two. The UAE have been bowled out in 44.5 overs for uh, just 110. Not enough, you would have to think, to uh, challenge the home side, who have gone about their work in a highly disciplined and uh, professional manner today. The seam bowlers up front were outstanding. I thought Brandon Mabuta was uh, a little, a little uh, wild. He's the only one that uh, maybe just tried uh, too many variations. But he did pick up uh, a couple of wickets, two for 30 in six overs. Otherwise, uh, the bowlers are all very, very economical. Mohamed Bhutta, 36 from 76 deliveries with uh, two fours and a six. But, uh, otherwise, uh, uh, just nothing of consequence, really. A couple of tens and, and one eleven. A partnership of uh, 29 is the highest. Uh, that would uh, help repair the situation from 42 for six to 71 for six. So uh, the target for the home side, a modest one, a very modest one. I think they will lunch in the knowledge that uh, they'll have to have a disastrous day to uh, not to, to go one nil up in this four match Surya Pump Cup series. They'll need 111 to win and 50 overs at just 2.2 runs to the over. Solomon Mirek, 41 matches, 40 innings, an average of 21. You want that to improve. He's got a best of 112. That was in 2017 against Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka. And Regis Chakaba. This is ODI career. Just 35 matches, 31 innings. And that average has uh, plenty of places it can go. First one day international since uh, 2015. First uh, four deliveries, just looking for a little bit of swing. Is there anything on, on offer? I think that's where his strength would be. Nicely timed. Good running and pick up three. Firmly, well timed, it goes through the fielder. The running's been good. No! To side against the third. The over comes to an end, it's 14 without loss. With 
good piece of fielding or was that an opportunity well it's gone quickly and i think it was an opportunity that is a valiant effort by Rizwan and the captain applauds the effort a little bit of width and Solomon Mire has beat the leather off that that's a wonderful effort at backward point it went quickly and uh, opportunity yes but half an opportunity Pulled away by Regis Chakava. And it'll be the first boundary in the Zimbabwean innings and a good one. 21 for no loss. Seven overs gone. Thanks to Eddie Ransford and Tino Mooyo for the past 30 minutes. So emphatic finishes at the previous over. Big shout, big shout. And it's given him. Langton Rusere is the umpire and has given it. And that's the end of Solon Mire. Full pitch delivery. And he got stuck in his crease. Not terribly surprised, patient, to be honest. I had my finger up. That's before we saw a replay. He's gone right across his stumps, hasn't he? They set him on the knee roll. I reckon that's hitting it. Yeah, that's pretty adjacent. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that uh, Solomon Mira had too much to complain about that. 11 off 25, and Zimbabwe 21 for one, needing another 90. Craig Irvin's a new batsman, the left-hander, coming in at number three. He's had a, a bumper domestic season. Really, really impressive for the Tuskers this year. And there's his ODI career. Half-hearted appeal. That was really full wide. York outside off stump. Uh, Craig Evans just had a little bit of a dab at that. And uh, that got the wicket keeper the slip. And everyone in the UAE is quite interested having a look at that one again. Not so sure it was an appeal. Just more of a noise. <laughs> Everybody was excited. Because the, the ball has missed the bat. And uh, the bat has hit the ground at the same time as the ball hit the ground. So there were all sorts of noises. And uh, that's enough to any fielding side uh, excited particularly one desperate for early wickets to give themselves even the slightest chance so they're going to need early wickets if they're to come back in this game at all uh, UAE have a look at that uh, for the man of the match what that's a piece of wood God, that's unbelievable stuff that it's a cheese board patient That is a wonderful shot. Like many men, short of stature, Reggie to cover is excellent square of the wicket, isn't he? Cutting, pulling, and that was a terrific shot. He's played with some authority today. That was emphatic, that pull shot from Reggie to cover. We've seen one earlier on, and this is the second he's played today. Have a look at that. Short, he gets into position, Ellen, and smash that. He's absolutely giving that the kitchen sink. That's a top shot. Better. Much better. Should have done that first time. That's a lovely shot. I, I don't think that... I mean, I hope they don't take the view that if it doesn't matter how ugly we win, let's just win. Win ugly. I hope they don't take that view. And and, and certainly <laughs> Reggie Chikava is not taking that Not view. when Chikava is playing shorts like that. Have a look at that. He holds his ship, keeps his head down, hits it straight back over the ball. That's a lovely shot. That's a glorious lofted straight drive. Fabulous stroke that from Chikava. He's looking dangerous, isn't he? No! It's a good follow-up delivery. Dot Balti in the over. Ten gone. Did he do for one, Zimbabwe? Gavino! 
There you go, uh, UAE went 19 for three after the first 10 overs. Zimbabwe already well ahead, 32 for one. Rowan Mustafa with his off spin. Opened the batting and now gets an early chance with the ball. Now then, talking of chances, I don't know that uh, that carried to Imran Haider at mid-wicket. Yeah, it looked it looked uppish and pretty dangerous. Not sure if that really carried the fielder. Right here, right here. Uh, mid wicket. Interesting to have a look at that. From the game. Reaction from the baller suggests that that might have carried. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. It might have just been on the half volley. Difficult to tell, wasn't it? You can't really judge by how the ballers react. They're always looking for wickets. Oh, it's a super piece of batting from uh, Craig Irvin. It's a shot of a man really in form. Not just in form, as in hitting the ball in the middle of the bat, but uh, in complete control of his decision making. And that was a beautifully conceived and executed shot knew exactly what he was going to do and, and did it you know crisp timing and split the gap nicely split the gap so well it's a little shimmy down the track and uh, got to the pitch of the ball nicely and picked it up off his uh, legs nicely there and this time just eases it down to the man in long on this is quality this is quality batting from Craig Evan close that was very very full Langton Ruggieri gave that a lot of thought tell you what that looked pretty straight first up live this is uh, Craig Irvin's uh, delayed late cover drive we'll uh, have a look at that sweep shot from from Reggie to cover in just a moment, but I, I <laughs> think he might he might have got a bit lucky there. Might. Yeah, Mustafa feels hard done by you can you can judge by the reaction there. It was pretty close. That was mighty close that. That's better from Chakava presenting the full face of the play this time around. Interesting to have a look at that uh, sweep shot again, that uh, LBW shot. Lefty, lefty boy. Sure had none of that. Yeah, I hope I'm not being too unkind to Langton Rashiri, but I'll tell you what, it's, it actually impact is outside the line of off stump, or, yeah, yeah it is, correct decision, but looked a bit straighter than that. And again, as we see another superb piece of timing from Craig Evine, a little dance down the pitch. Nice little pick up there to end the over. 14 gone, 49 for one. Oh, I think he's got an edge on that, has he? No, <laughs> clearly not. Looked like a little top edge onto the pad, but not, not entirely sure why Craig Urban uh, has played that shot. I, it, on a needs basis, he, he, there was no need. I'm not particularly sure the field lends itself to that shot either. No, it's not off his glove. It's come off his forearm, isn't it? Not constitute part of the bat. That's a lot better, that. He uses the depth of his Chris nicely there, hangs back. And he just works that around the corner and has picked up an easy three there. There is an example how he uses the depth of his Chris and just works that around the corner. He looks uh, 
very good. He's pleasing on the eyes, pleasing to the eyes, isn't he? Short. It's made an excellent sound off the cricket bat of Craig Irvin. And it just takes a bounce into the fence. And now that boundary will welcome Dean Duplessis. Lovely shot by Craig Irvin. He has been in pretty good form at domestic level. And um, on this occasion, capitalizing on a loose delivery. But it's the manner in which he put it away, which was mo most pleasing. Yeah, good strike. Halfway down and punished. It's been a good uh, vein of form in the T20 series here domestically <laughs> stood head and shoulders above everybody else. Not known as a T20 player or someone that takes the game away from the opposition, more of an accumulator. Good cricket. And uh, nudges it onto the onside and the, the running is equally good. And two are picked up quite easily. And over, that goes for seven. And 61 for one. That's a nice shot. Well, almost on cue because uh, that is the first six of the Zimbabwe innings. Frees up the onside. The position he gets into very early and he meets the ball through the strike zone and the distance and the just if you look at it visually you just know that's going you just know it's out the ground because the poise the balance and the address of the hands and the bat on the ball goes for half a dozen and now Zimbabwe just need 41 more runs Just a discussion, the keeper just wants to be sure that the field is uh, set in the manner that the bowler is comfortable with and along with the, the captain. Excellent cricket. Now he frees up the offside. It's a simple push. And he'll pick up a couple. So, 11 off that over. And it's 72 for one. So, Craig Irvin, uh, who seems to be the aggressor in this partnership, 34 of 30 with three fours and a six. Oh, yes, Reggie. Reggie wants to join the party. He joins it with a couple of bounces. It goes for four. Beautifully struck, not allowing the leg spinner to settle at all. Reggie Chakava himself has been in ex exceptionally good form as well. And uh, we'll be showing you the replay shortly and how he capitalized and pounced on this delivery straight away. Oh, that's a lovely stroke by Reggie Chakaba. Hitting from the crease. And now he's going with the slog sweep. It's straight enough and it's back to back boundaries for Chakaba. Zimbabwe now beginning to assert their authority and to ensure that the UAE spinners do not dominate because we have seen uh, that there's been turn and bounce on offer but this is a one of Reggie Chakabra's, Chakabra's favorite shots, the slog sweep and as Ed Rainsford said, he, all he needed to do is to ensure that he gets it straight enough to pierce the field and to get the boundary This is a wonderful shot. We've just been singing his praises, and he's just gone on the front foot, placed it through the offside, and it's a wonderful cover drive for four. Beautiful stuff by Craig Irvin. And again, this is what we've been talking about. There's no power, well, seemingly no power, but all he does is he makes sure that he's on the front foot, and then it's all about placement, and it's about Double timing. Money. And despite the fact that the outfield is heavy, the ball absolutely scorches the outfield and obliterates the advertising <laughs> boards. Oh, well done, Nidhi. And then good cricket straight after that. Is a, this isn't a delivery that he can capitalize on, but finds the single. It's something that the likes of Virat Kohli, A.B. de Villiers are, are very good at. Uh, Joe Root, Shamron Hepmeyer, who 
go after the bowling, but will still find uh, singles aplenty. Oh, big shot, Craig. Craig, 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 that's in the stands. It's gone a long way. Gee, but it's the timing, though, isn't it? And I know we're harping on about it, but there's no effort. Beautifully timed stroke by, by Craig Irvin. And uh, when he does hit them, they do go a long way. What a, what a lovely shot. <laughs> so Zimbabwe now are really beginning to uh, assert their authority. End of the over, Zimbabwe 98 for one. And that's Craig Irvin's 50. And it's come off just 40 balls, and uh, if you have followed Craig Irvin, you would uh, think it as a bit of a surprise for him to bat in this manner. But it has been an innings of absolute authority from the onset. He's looked to dominate and played some very, very good strokes. Four fours and two sixes in the bargain, and as we just said, of 40 balls. He's faced just 19 dots as well. Oh, he's bowled him around his legs. Sweep shot, little... Paddle flick sweep from Reggie to cover and uh, bowled round his legs by Imran Haider with just 10 runs required. And at least it's a consolation. Leg break uh, from Haider. Um, it, it gripped a little. If it hadn't straightened a little bit, it would have missed leg stump. But uh, Reggie to cover knows that uh, there are certain technical requirements for the sweep shot and one of which is to make sure you're not bowled <laughs> behind your legs. 38 from 63 balls, 101 for two. New batsman is Sean Williams. One uh, left-hander replaced by another. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Richard Jacoba's not left-handed. Uh, what I meant to say was one left-hander joining <laughs> another. <laughs> Craig Irvin and uh, Sean Williams. Just 10 runs required, and uh, the UAE, rightly, have uh, got a slip in. You uh, you never give up hope. He's also the senior citizen of the team, Shaman Anwar, the age of 40. It gives him an automatic right. He's the oldest player in the team to field a slip. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Power sweep behind square leg. It's a nice way to get off the mark, isn't it? Very, very powerfully struck uh, behind square, and uh, that's exactly how it should be. Try and finish it off as quickly as you as you possibly can. And that should end it. Oh, my goodness, that's uh, down towards long on. It hasn't ended it. It's ended it for Sean Irvin, Craig Irvin. I've done it again. Craig Irvin's chipped that straight down towards long on. Trying to get it over and done with, and uh, in the end, it's uh, just cost him his wicket. Mohamed Usman, the fielder at long on, straightforward catch, and a second uh, consolation wicket. First, it was Imran Haider, and now it's uh, Rowan Mustafa. Straightforward catch, as you can see, and uh, Irvin disappointed with himself. Just four runs required. And he's gone for 51 from 46 balls. It's still 107, but for three. Timson Maruma. Another lengthy list of, uh, or he's a member of the lengthy list of players who have completely reinvented themselves. Gone from being uh, a googly bowler, who batted at number 10, to a top order batsman who's coming in at number five today. And he too has earned his... Uh, 
his place back in the national team on uh, the back of uh, substantial runs in domestic cricket. End of the over, 108 for three, just three more required. That should do it. Well, there's a chase on, but I uh, don't fancy CP Rizwan's chances of uh, cutting it off. He's the substitute fielder. They have gone, they've run three. And, um, well, everyone's just checking. <laughs> Nobody's quite sure whether they actually won it or not, but they have. And uh, Timson Maruma has flicked through the onside for three was uh, all that was required. So uh, Zimbabwe reached 111 for three, the first ball of the 24th over. So uh, Zimbabwe have won comprehensively by seven wickets in the end. It uh, looked likely to be uh, a nine wicket victory when uh, they reached 101 for one, but they've got home at 111 for three with uh, Timson Maruma's uh, innings uh, all all but over in a flash. Just two balls, he finished four not out, and uh, Sean Williams has five. I think the Zimbabweans have every, every reason to be uh, delighted uh, with their performance today. It was all about Tendai Chitara's 3 for 23, and he'll get his Man of the Match uh, award from Mr. Chibwe. Right, just a couple of words. Excellent with the ball. Yeah, it was good uh, to ball and give our team a head start to the series. It was excellent. You and uh, Carl Jarvis, the way you started the first 10, 15 overs, didn't allow UAE at all to get out the blocks. Yeah, we have worked so hard and winning the toss today, uh, it was good. So we just had to, to bow our lens because the wicket was assisting us. So, If uh, debut matches as captain would like to go as easy as possible, this is probably the easiest of them. Yeah, definitely. Ed. I think obviously my bowlers were fantastic up front. It was a good toss to win, like Chad said. And my job was made very easy today. Obviously, there's not going to be days that, are, that go so according to plan. But I'm also relishing the challenge of having that chance to captain the side. OSN Crick.